In today's video, I'm just going to run you through the total amount of money you would need to study in the UK. I know now times are hard and people want to make plans on how to study and the total amount of money they will need. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chine Miriam and if you are coming across my channel for the first time, hello you are most welcome please like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video to your friends family and loved ones and to anyone you feel we need this information and to my returning subscribers the most amazing returning subscribers thank you guys ever so much for coming back so i've been getting questions like please how much do i need to study in the uk like give me a a rough estimate and someone have said give me a total amount of what i will need to study in the uk for a period of two years one year and you know, all of that so this video is going to be a rough estimate of how much you will need to study in the uk from nigeria if you are not from nigeria i'm really sorry please bear with me because i can't do for every country like it's not going to be easy for me so i won't be able to do for every country so that's what i'm doing for nigeria so if you are not from nigeria there are some that will be in pounds these are the ones that are peculiar to every country so any amount i'll mention in pounds or even in naira please convert it to your country's local currency and that's how much you will also need in your country's local currency i hope this video helps someone who is out there looking to travel or move to the uk in no time being said let's get right into the video oh you know that when you plan to study abroad the first thing you would do is to get your passport right and to get a passport in nigeria now is nothing less than fifty thousand naira and i also learned that there are some places where you have to pay more and sometimes even when you pay fifty thousand naira for your passport you may still have to pay some small small money like i learned so but at flat rate the total amount you will need for a passport in nigeria now is fifty thousand naira I've gotten your passport ready the next thing you should think about is your maintenance fund that is your proof of fund or maintenance fund depending on what you call it and then for proof of fund if you are studying inside london the money you will have in your account is 1334 pounds per month for a period of nine months i don't know if you understand that 1334 pounds multiplied by nine and that is twelve thousand pounds then let's convert it to naira so 12,006 pounds multiplied by 770 is 9.2 million naira so if you are studying inside london you will have to keep 9.2 million naira as proof of form in your account if you are studying outside london then what you need in your account is 1023 pounds per month for up to nine months and that is 9207 pounds and that is 7 million naira 7 million 89,000 and 319 naira if you are coming with your dependents you will need to have 845 pounds per month for each person for nine months again and you know if you have two kids three kids this money will be for each person if you are studying outside london then the amount you will need in your account for a month for your dependent is 680 pounds again you multiply this by nine so 680 multiplied by nine for each person that is outside london i'm not going to do much about dependents in this video if you want me to tell you more about dependents leave me a comment so that i would um, make a comprehensive video for dependents then you must have gotten a cast and for you to have gotten a cast you would have paid a certain amount of money as this as deposit to the school sometimes the school will tell you a certain amount of money to pay they could say pay two thousand they could say pay three thousand or any amount and some schools will ask you to pay a certain percentage maybe ten percent fifty percent or any amount at the end of the day the, the percentage you pay depends on the total tuition fee for a year but for this video let's say you have paid two thousand pounds for deposit and i'm going to be converting to two thousand pounds to naira the exchange rate as of today as at the day i am making this video is 770 naira so we're going to do two thousand pounds times 770 naira and that will tell us the amount you have to pay in naira so i've done that and it's giving me 1.5 million naira so you will pay you have to deposit 1.5 million naira today university you have to pay your visa fee and visa fee is 348 pounds per person so if you are coming with your dependent you also pay 
348 pounds for each of them and 348 pounds in naira is 267,960 naira you will also have to pay for immigration health surcharge and immigration health surcharge is 470 pounds per year so if you're going to be studying for three years that means you will pay 470 pounds times three years if it's um two years then you have to do 470 pounds times two years so um i'm going to do for masters one year there are also masters program that lasts for two years so if your program is for two years then you may have to do for two years so i'm going to do for masters undergraduate and phd all right so everyone will be included in this my calculation your immigration health surcharge for a one-year program is 470 pounds so you have to pay 361,900 naira so if your program is for three years then your immigration health surcharge will be 1 million naira when you've done all of this you will now go for your tuberculosis test of course you know tuberculosis test is a must without a tuberculosis test i'm not sure you will be i'm not sure your visa will be processed or for an adult you will pay 57,800 naira then for 12 years and below you will pay 27,800 naira these are just the basic things you will need to take care of of course you know that along the way you may be paying small 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 money here and there but for now these are the ones that are stable these are ones that are constant that you will need to pay so to whatever i'm telling you today you will add all those miscellaneous then when you have done all of this you will now check for your flight and i've just checked ba today and the amount here is 657 dollars so i will put it on my screen and it's showing me that tomorrow it will change to 730 dollars and that's to say that the flight fee is not always constant it can vary when you will actually need the flight it may be lower or it may be higher so it depends so just try and maybe make your arrangement and book ahead of time it is most likely to be cheaper if you book ahead of time so to book your flight you will convert 657 dollars to naira and i'm converting based on the exchange rate today which is 500 naira to book your flight you will pay 328,500 naira if you are studying outside london and you are going for a one-year program the total amount of money you will need is 9.6 million naira so let's subtract the um proof of fund from this total amount so let's see how much you will actually spend because you will spend that proof of fund you're not paying it to them it's just a money that will be in your account for a period of 28 days some people borrow this money while some people have this money for themselves so whether you are borrowing this money or you have it for yourself you keep it back to yourself you so your total expenses if you are studying outside london will be 2.6 million naira the total money you will need if you are studying inside london is 11.8 million naira so we will not take out the proof of fund which i have already said you will not use so minus the proof of fund what you'll be spending is 2.6 million naira so your total expenses will be 2.6 million naira the remaining one is the proof of fund that you will either keep to yourself or give back to the person you borrowed from and please be advised that this is not the total money you pay for your school fees, but this is enough to bring you over to the UK until you start working to, to finish paying your school fees. All right. So this is for inside London. Now, this is for one year. And if you're going for, uh, for PhD or undergraduate, you know your program is most times is going to be three years and you are studying inside London. The total amount you will need is 12.5 million naira again like i've done with the other one the total expenses like the total money you will spend that to bring you over to the uk is 3.3 .3 million naira and then if you are studying outside london and you are going for mass um, undergraduate or phd which is three years the total money you will need is 10.4 million naira if you take out the proof of fund what you'll be spending is still 3.3 .3 million naira so you can see that there is a difference between those studying inside london and those studying outside london some people will say if you can avoid london but it's up to you do what you want to do and i will also advise that you put some money in your pocket when you are coming like about two million naira or even one million naira so when you land you won't be stranded like you have to get accommodation right you have to eat for the first month at least before you get a job to start supporting yourself remember you also have to complete the remaining part of the tuition fee so put all of this into consideration think about all of this and 
and like i said this is just a rough estimate of how much you would need and my conversions are based on the exchange rate as of today so when you start your own processing your exchange rate could change it may be higher or it may be lower so please cross check with the exchange rate at the time you start your own processing also consider some of the miscellaneous expenses that would come your way like small small things that will be coming out you know from nowhere think about that and maybe set out two hundred thousand or five hundred thousand for this because i know something may come up somehow somewhere so check think about this and put out something for it again please this is just a rough estimate of how much you will need i'm not saying this is everything but this will give you a rough idea on what you need please don't quote me and say i said kindly cross check whenever you start i hope this was helpful and i hope you understood everything i've just done if you have any questions please ask me in the comment section and of course i will answer and if it's a personal question please connect with me on social media instagram or facebook i and ask me any personal questions in my inbox and of course i will reply i will answer so that's that's about this video don't forget to like this video share the video and subscribe to my channel please and then until I see you again in my next video, do take care, stay safe and bye.